What's up YouTube, Tempin Designs here, and I'm coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. Um, if you missed my last one, it was on creating the spotlight effect sort of thing that I use on some of my images when they're kind of dark, just lighten up parts of it, and uh, yeah, so I got some good, good support on that video, so if you guys want to go back and look at that if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but this video is going to be a tutorial in Photoshop on uh, just some layer styles that I like to use. So what I have here is a 1280 by 720 canvas. Um, and I just have like a nice little green, light green to dark green uh, kind of washed out color there in the background so we can see all the text effects. So if we open our text tool here, um, I'll give that a little bit of time to load. And uh, yeah, so again, I really want to thank all of you guys for all the support you've given me on my uh, last videos and on that last tutorial video I uploaded. And uh, also for the partnership, uh, if you haven't seen the background, I have my banner up and everything now, so you can go check that out on my channel page. But uh, now that that's loaded up, we can, well, almost loaded up. Uh, my computer's running a little slow, but alright. So, we're just going to place our text right in the middle here. If we open up our layers, just so we have a idea. Um, we can change the text to... I love this Aardvark, Carf Aardvark Cafe text. It's uh, what's used in my background for the Tempin Designs font or text. If you see that up there, um, it's a really nice font. I like it a lot. So uh, we're gonna use that. We'll just change the size to 200, and we'll type in tutorial. There we go. All right. So that looks nice. Um, but you know, it doesn't really stand out from the background. So what we're going to do to fix that is double click on your tutorial, on your text layer. We're going to bring this so you can see it. And we're going to add a gradient overlay. Now, when we go into gradient overlays, I have a preset set here. Um, I have a, c a couple of them actually, but we're going to use this one. Basically what you do is you click on gradient and then you go into your gradient editor, make the right one white and the left one a sort of lightish medium gray and there you go so that gives it a nice little gradient there that just kind of helps give it a little depth um, but that's still not really differentiating it from the background so what I like to do instead of adding a drop shadow like most people do um, it's what I did when I first started so I just added a drop shadow like that but I over the my months of designing I've realized it's not really doesn't really look that professional. So what I do is I put on a outer glow and I make the color black. And then I'll change the blend mode to screen and I'll change the size out to sometimes you just got to mess with. It. I can't give you an exact size, but um around here looks good. So if we put it on opacity of 100 and say we make the size 13 it'll give it a nice black outline like that that kind of fades out at the edges and that gives you a nice effect there but if you want something a little more light or airy I don't know what how to explain it but you can put the opacity down and it'll just give it this nice little faded little uh, kind of stroke on the outside that will differ differentiate it from the background or whatever you're putting it on top of so that is something that I like to do a lot. Um, and with the gradients, if you want a color gradient, say we'll do this orange one here, or we'll do this red one here. Um, actually, how about we do the purple? Let's do the purple, why not? So what I like to do is on the right side, I'll usually give it like a kind of, say if I go to my purples, I'll go to the top and then I'll go towards the left side. And it kind of dilutes it a little bit. And then, say, actually, I'm just going to change this a little bit to pinkish. And then you can start going down a little darker. And it'll give it, like, this nice kind of glossy effect at the top. Um, depending on what colors you use and uh, what you're trying to do with it, it can look really nice. So we'll put that back up. We can also put a white, uh, a white glow, outer glow, on it. And it'll just kind of make it... I don't know, glow like this. <laughs> I mean, glow, that's kind of what it does. Um, but yeah, that will that can look nice on certain things as well. So, basically, 
just remember to put gradients on it. Don't put just a color overlay, it doesn't make it look that great, unless you're going for a certain effect, but, I mean, as you can see, that doesn't look very great. Uh, I would rather put a gradient overlay and change it if you wanted that color to be around like that, and then the other color to be sort of like this. See, that I mean, looks a lot nicer than just a color overlay. So, if this helped you out, guys, uh, please leave a like rating and tell me what other tutorials you would like to see in the future. I'm trying to keep these as short and sweet as possible uh, so you get the most out information out of the shortest amount of time. Because uh, I know you guys have busy days. I do, too. So, don't we all don't have, you know, hours on end to spend watching tutorials on YouTube. So, um, if you if it helped you out and you enjoyed the video, please leave a like rating, maybe a favorite if you're feeling extra special, extra nice today. Uh, wink, wink. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you next time.